Now I'm going to introduce you to our GPS program called Shadow Tracker. Um, all of our maintenance and landscaping trucks have GPS trackers on them so that we're able to uh, see where they are currently and then we can run reports on where they've been. So this is just going to be a quick introduction to kind of get you through the basics. Um, you will be provided with a login for Shadow Tracker, and once you have logged in, you will um, it will take you to this uh, blank screen or blank map. Um, and so this is basically our service area. It just kind of centers around that. Um, our shop is right here, so that kind of keeps the center. Um, so. If you look on the left hand side, down the side, you have vehicle tracking, reporting, vehicle info, alerts, and administration. So for the sake of the basic introduction, we're going to strictly be dealing with the vehicle tracking. So if you click on that, it'll open up this little sidebar and it gives you, um, you've got two options here. You basically got the top box here and the bottom box here. Um, the top box is going to give you reports, so it's going to give you historical vehicle tracking information. So if you want to know what the crew did yesterday or last week, um, this is where you would uh, go to um, get that information. If you are wanting to look at where the crew is today, then you would come down to uh, the real-time vehicle tra track information. So uh, one important thing to keep in mind if you are wanting to look at historical data, you have to make sure that this, um, the real-time tracking report is, tr is off. When you turn the tracking on, you'll check, put a check mark next to the vehicles that you would like to see. So if you wanna see all three of those, you can check them and then you can see, um, here they all are. If you want to zoom in, the easiest way to do that is to pick a corner click your right button on your mouse, hold down, hold it down and draw it around and it'll automatically zoom in on the truck. So, um, as you can see, if you hover over it, it tells you it's the bed maintenance truck um, and it will go away. So if you click the little pin, it should hold it. And so it'll tell you, it'll give you the address of where they are, the speed um, and which direction they're heading and you know that the ignition is on. So yellow means that the vehicle is moving, red is that the vehicle is stopped. So um, again, if you hover over it, it will give you the information uh, about where it is and you know how fast and, and everything like that. So this is to see where everybody is right now. Um, that's what the real-time vehicle track information is. Now, if you are wanting to pull uh, history or report um, or to see where the guys have been um, in the past, remember you will have to turn the real-time vehicle tracking information off, so that will take that off, and then you'll go up to the top and you'll pick which which vehicle is it that you're wanting to um, run a uh, you know history report on. So bed maintenance, fertilizing, landscaping, maintenance manager, and mowing. So let's take the mowing crew. Um, and this is actually today, everywhere that they've been today, because today is the 13th. Um, and so again, if you right click and zoom in, you'll see. So um, the green is where they started. And if you hover over each little red mark, it will tell you, um, well, I'm gonna show you a different one. So let's come here. So this was their seventh stop. If you hover over it, it gives you some important information. So it tells you that they arrived at 8.49 a.m. and the duration of the stop was 16 minutes before they started moving again. So you can also click on these little arrows or hover over these arrows and it will tell you, let's see if I can get one to pin, it will tell you their speed and at what time they were at that certain area. And you can continue and click, click all the way around and see, okay? So you can get some history on that um, to see where they have been. Um, and you can do that if you would like to look at numerous vehicles at one time, you can click on each one. So let's say you wanted to look at, um, let's say you wanted to look at the, f the mowing truck on uh, last Wednesday. So you would click on last Wednesday and you would click mowing and there was no mowing because that was a snow day so 
let's look at Tuesday the mowing and there it'll show you exactly where they've been what route they traveled how they got there um, and that gives you all the information you need so uh, an example of when you might need this is um, because the bed maintenance is a service that is um, billed by the hour it's an hourly rate so if for some reason you don't see a clock in or out time for a certain client you can come into the shadow tracker and you can pull up the bed crew for that day and you can hover over and you'll be able to see what address they were at um, and you can again right click and zoom in and you're able to get that information so you can plug it into um, the dispatch board in order to invoice for it so you can and again in order to keep it up here to stay when you hover over it click on the pin well click on the pin <laughs> typically it holds it for some reason it's not wanting to work um, so you could plug this in and say okay they arrived at 822 I will typically give them a minute or two um, because they don't usually jump out and immediately start they have to get the equipment and all that kind of stuff so um, 823 and they were there for 28 almost 29 minutes and then you can um, update that time for that that way So that is just your basic uh, quick view, um, overview look of the Shadow Tracker program to see how you can um, look at uh, you know, the GPS on all the vehicles.